Real sharp looking Winnebago Ultralight model 28DDBH here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. It's a roughly 28 foot box, double double bunkhouse. Pretty pretty simple to decipher, but um, always like to point that out where I can. Um, Winnebago, a lot of people don't realize they got their start building travel trailers years and years and years ago in, oh shoot, I want to say Idaho is their, their corporate, Iowa, one of those two. I always get them, I can never keep that straight. Doesn't matter. Um, these are built right out of northern Indiana, like most of the RV world. But uh, what, what's kind of cool is because they spent so much time building some really sharp, high-end motorized units, they brought a lot of that knowledge and discipline and um, you know quality assurance with them into their back into their towable RVs with the, the resurgence of their towable section here. And they're just doing a killer job. For instance, they understand storage is key. So they put wider, taller baggage doors on here, and it even, if you notice, concaves uh, outward in there so that you have maximum storage capacity. It's probably like a three quarter of a three quarter ton uh, pickup truck bed in here. Um, also, handy thing, battery disconnects so that all of your new fancy um, appliances, I mean your water heater, refrigerator, uh, microwave, DVD player, television, let's see, what else? Uh, air conditioner, I mean all this stuff. It doesn't turn off, it goes into standby. Well, when it goes into standby, it's still sucking juice. And all of those things together can actually pull pretty decent amps. And they will suck your battery dry when your camper's just in storage and not plugged in and, and not being used. Big awning on this, by the way. I've already moved past that, but big, big awning on here um, with some LED lighting. And uh, what's nice is it's a Solera awning, so you can easily adjust the awning arms. You just, I mean, literally two fingers pull down on it, and you can pitch adjust the awning like up to 10 or 12 inches. Um, they're using 30 pound propane tanks on here, which is uncommon in ultralights. There's only a few brands that do that. Some will offer standard 20s with an upgrade option to 30s, but 30 standard is unusual. Um, it just means more dry camp time, basically. Now this is true gel coat. The word gel coat gets abused in the RV industry. People try to use the words gel coat and fiberglass synonymously and interchangeably. They're not. It's not the same. Um, you know, there, there's a the bigger, higher process that goes into gel coating in short, and that's what they do on every single Winnebago towable from the smallest little 16-footer up to their biggest fifth wheels. Um, it looks unlike anything else. It is the best looking type of uh, skin out there. But uh, just the other thing is, if you ever get a scuff or a scratch on it, if you're looking at a trailer where you can still see the fibers in the fiberglass, which is most of the lightweight world, and most of the RV world in general, actually, if you get a scuff and you need to buff that out, you're always going to see that spot where you buffed it. On a gel coat, you can smooth that out and never see it again. Now notice too, every single window opens on a Winnebago for ventilation. They, again, they understand that's a big thing. And I've been hanging out here yakking my brains out because I didn't want to miss this. They have a deeper super slide. Average slide out in the RV world is 36 inches. There's a uh, measure 41 and a half. Um, you know, that's, that's a big deal. That's, that's an extra five, almost six inches of space there. And it's a difference you can see and feel the moment you step in the living room. They don't do that on all their products. That's something that's kind of unique to the ultralight segment. Um, <clears throat> uh, we do have an enclosed forced air heated underbelly. So you can use this for a good extended season camping. I'm not saying the word four seasons is another one of those misnomers that just gets abused. I don't believe there's a true four seasons ultralight out there. There really can't be um, due to the way that one of the ways to get the weight down is by like thinning out the walls. When you do that, you lower R factors. When you do that, you lose, you know, four seasons ability. However, uh, what this does have that not every ultralight has in this size category and price point is a fully walkable roof, a true walk on roof. Um, they have, this is pure, all aluminum framed, other than obviously your base frame rails, but your side walls, your rear wall, your roof, even your floor joists are all tubular aluminum. Um, your roof is, uh, stamped steel, uh, girders basically. So, uh, well, I'm sorry, pardon me, aluminum, it, it looks the same, but it, they're, they're aluminum rafters, um, with a, a wood deck on top of that. So this is very, very structurally sound. And I tell you, I've been through the Winnebago factory. They're very quality conscious. They don't run real fast around the factory. The guy working on his station makes her his job is done right before the trailer moves on. We have not had quality control problems with these. That's my favorite part. Um, 
I don't care what I sell as long as it performs, as long as it stays in your driveway and takes care of your family and justifies the investment you make. And these are living up to that. And little nicer things like porcelain foot flush stools instead of plastic, you know. This has the direct entry bath door, which is a, a big crowd favorite. If you've never had a camper, you're going, why is there a door right to the toilet? That's goofy. If you've had a camper, you're like, yes, that's going to cut down on all the dirt track through my camper. This is basically a carpetless camper, so... Um, other than a little bit in front of the super slide, you're, you're ace when it comes to that. You do have an outside TV location right here. That's what that little black guy right there is saying. That's a little uh, backer location for a uh, flat screen. They use wide stance axles for load equalization and stability so that when you're going down the road, the trailer isn't trying to porpoise down the road. It's not trying to do the worm behind you. I can't really do the worm. I can do the inch worm. It's not as crowd pleasing. It is kind of funny, though. <laughs> this comes in, by the way, about 7,000 pounds on the nose, which you're thinking, well, I've seen lighter ultralights, yes, but remember, this has an extra deep slide. It does still have a walkable roof, and we do have a second slide out. There are things on here that are not common to ultralights. By the way, little um, grill hookup down here, so if you want to bring a grill with you, you're all set to do so. Hopping inside for you. Now, you have uh, individual little spotlights above different uh, furniture fixtures but in general you just have um, one set of all your living room lights kick right on and they do make a heck of a difference on um, this uh, w okay hold on before I get too far along this is called the onyx decor and I want to mention that because the trailer you're seeing in this video may not be the one we have in stock uh, if you like everything except fabrics um, you know if you want a slightly different option package chance we might even have it in stock or we, we can definitely get it for you you know um, so the uh, onyx has the uh, uh, neutral uh, middle uh, fabric tones with the the dark leather red accents we found that holds up best in bunk houses in our experience here we're over a thousand units this year and there are potentially well not potentially there are larger dealerships in the nation but we are the largest independent dealer in the state of Michigan we're a top five dealer in, in one of the top states uh, uh, for RV sales. Usually it seems to be uh, Michigan and Texas jockey back and forth for that number one slot and right now Michigan's up currently. So we're one of the top dealers in the nation and our experience has shown that these darker leatherette interiors hold up better in bunk houses because they, they're just better for kids sliding and grinding on them. They don't show as well, you know, when uh, stuff's on them. Now again, going back to the quality aspect, things like they're using real wood, not MDF foam. You know, they're using plywood uh, on, on their floor decking. This is tongue and groove uh, plywood floor decking on top of um, longitudinal uh, aluminum tubular uh, beams. So you have longitudinal aluminum beams running this way on top of plywood floor decking. You see, we do have all centralized heat. We do have um, heat getting forced down into the holding tanks. Uh, we have a, uh, a double arched roof. It's arched inside and outside. Massively structural um, in terms of load capacity, but also just the fact that it opens it up in here and really makes it just breathe nicer. That's a hide-a-bed, by the way. We've upgraded it to a, uh, a memory foam hide-a-bed to give you extra, extra, extra sleeping space on top of all the bunkhouse space we have back here. Now, the cool part about this floor plan with the, the, the double slide is you gain the kitchen slide, which opens up the opportunity for this island. And I wanted to flip that open before I forget because you even have handy little pantry space built right in here to the island. Now, You've got great countertop space. You're going to find stainless sinks in almost all your Winnebago stuff. Um, because, again, from their experience in the, uh, you know, like diesel pusher industry, it just holds up better. It holds up longer. It's about as foolproof as you can get. I can drop a full-on potter pan in here. And, it, I mean, at worst, it might dent it a little bit, but it ain't going to break. You know, it's just not a problem I have. And these are, uh, these are heavy duty. I call these the equalizers. They're not the cheap little flimsy uh, plastic ones, you know. Um, you you know you you could whip those things like a frisbee to bear and, and probably bruise his head. Of course, I would run at that point. I would I would run, but uh, you, you know what? Second thought. Let's not throw those at a bear. I, I'm just imagining the phones ringing. It's a lawyer saying, "Sir, in one of your videos, you you instructed people to to throw a sink cover like a frisbee at a bear, and I don't want that phone call. So let's not do that." Cross breeze windows. I mentioned that, but it's good to point out inside. And these are um. This is a slider window, but uh, this is a jealousy window. They use a lot of jealousy windows uh, still 
at Winnebago because you can still use them in the rain. Now, even their, um, I love how everything has a shape and a texture, by the way. There's there's nothing flat. Everything has curvature and, and radius to it. But even their, their shades, they have just a little different color and texture to them. Just something to dress up. Now, this is cool. I've seen, oh my gosh, dozens? I mean, dozens of versions of this floor plan. The two double bunks, the bathroom entry door. I've seen dozens of versions of this. But what I love about this one, it has not one, but two pantries or closets, or whatever you want them to be. It has two of these things that are just enormous and huge, and you can actually use them. Now that, I thought, was a very cool thing, because you can sleep six, eight, ten people in here. You gotta keep their stuff. You gotta keep them fed. This floor plan can get it done, and not all of them can. Uh, remember that radius roof was giving us more room up here, and both bunks have ventilating windows. Windows and lights cost a lot. And you'll see a lot of bunkhouses will sacrifice the top or bottom window to try to, uh, a lot of times they'll only put in a bottom window just to meet fire code. They won't put in a top window because it costs money. Now, each bunk also has its own little night light and every light in this thing is all LED. Um, quick peek at the bathroom. We saw it from the outside, but just a glance at the inside here. Nothing too fancy going on, but I do like the just the detail stuff, like the fact that the medicine cabinet's mounted on a bias on a corner along with the sink. You think, yeah, no kidding, but mo most of them aren't. Uh, most things in this uh, floor plan have a medicine cabinet mounted flat against the wall. You know, I don't know how I'm supposed to stand, like, halfway in and out of the doorway to look at the mirror across from me to shave. Now, now this is how it's supposed to be. And again, stainless sink, even in the bathroom, you know, they're just kicking it up a notch. Um, uh, let me back up to make sure I didn't miss anything over here. I don't think I did. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Um, their kitchen slide out, you know, everything they're doing kind of like their living room super slide was a bit, uh, uh, deeper. Their kitchen slide out is a bit wider. Um, usually what you're going to find with most kitchen slide outs and most travel trailers, not all, is the microwave is going to be mounted directly above the oven. And this is all that's going to slide out. Well, they extended this. You're getting like three, four extra feet of countertop space here, plus an extra overhead cabinet, which is a godsend in any camper. Not to mention, all of this storage down here, holy cow, because they extended this slide out. So it not only has a deeper slide over here, it has a longer slide over here, and that's why this thing really opens up inside. That's why when I stand back here, you're like, holy cow, look at that thing. You know, this is, this is pretty big and pretty serious once you start getting dug into it. Um... We will typically upgrade the air conditioner on these from a 13.5 to a 15,000 BTU. Um, that'll give you 50% uh, more airflow. So, uh, long story short, uh, instead of recycling the air in your camper four times an hour, this will do it six, and that'll give you uh, an extra 10 degrees of cooling power. So, instead of cooling it down in here 20 degrees less than out there, it can get down to 30. It makes a difference when it's 100 degrees outside. You're going to like that. Um, their entertainment center here, manufacturers are starting to get back to making these things just a little bit deeper. So at least DVD depth, you know, if you take a DVD or Blu-ray box, you can fit it in there now. There were a couple years they got really, really thin, and they got too thin with it. But again, all the radius work, the trim work, I mean, everything is clean. Everything is seamless. There's just, they, they don't miss, you know. They, they measure twice, they cut once, they get it done right. We do have... For mom and dad, grandpa and grandpa, sliding privacy door, and it's, you know, it's not going to fall off the rails. Again, there's a lot of them out there in this class that they don't bother bracketing in the bottom. They just kind of hang it on the top and expect gravity to do the work. When you're bouncing down the road, 70 mile an hour, it's an earthquake in here. Earthquake! And uh, you, you need that structural reinforcement there to help keep everything in place. And I mean, even their doors, they're paying attention to that. TV here is, I don't know, about 32 inch or so, and it does spin around to face the bedroom. So uh, if you want to, you you could uh, you could probably even mount a second TV on the back if you didn't want to spin it. But um, this is how we like to build them so that, you know, one TV can kind of serve multiple purposes. And as you see, you can easily just kind of half turn it to either face like just the sofa or the kitchen or whatever. And you don't need to bring along extra stuff and electronics because this is Bluetooth. It plays your DVDs on your screen, stereo inside, outside. It just does everything. You don't have to worry about bringing along extra stuff. Um, here in the bedroom, I like to point out that both sides of the bed have your little CPAP stands, or you can use them as cell phone chargers. And their mattress, their ma this evergreen mattress, I mean, I, I can't, like, do it proper justice by just pointing at it, 
you need to come lay on these. They're surprisingly nice. I mean, is it like your $4,000 sleep number at home? Of course not. But it is way nicer than what you ha are going to find in almost any segment of the RV industry. I'm This is the same mattress they use in everything. I'm very impressed. Um, lots of lighting here in the bedroom, too. A lot of bedrooms get kind of, they're like dark caves. But, you know, that's not the case here. You can easily see around. Um, again, the TV will spin around. This wall is a little bit plain because all the storage is on the other side of the wall. But they do still include... Um, a, uh, a big vent here in the bedroom. So along with your two cross breeze windows, you can also put, uh, a, if you wanted to, you could put a fan up there because you have 12 volt right here you could tap into. You could uh, you could do a lot of different things here. I mean, all in all, like I said, they're hitting on all cylinders on these. I'm very impressed with what I see here. And it doesn't look the same as every other camper out there. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't just look good. It performs really well. The weight is right. And I, I tell you, I really expected when I saw the name Winnebago on the side of it for the price tag to be a lot higher on these. And uh, I I was really surprised. And to the point that three of our salesmen also said, that's all? So, you know, we, we try to be real fair in these. We work close with folks. If you're only watching this on YouTube, right in the description, there's a thing that says click here for pricing and availability. Go ahead and click on that and you can save yourself some trouble that way. 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.